Everybody's a suspect. Coming to get you, Barbara. Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the channel. Finally, we have a Halloween Ends trailer. Now, we don't get to see it because we are part of the public. However, as we mentioned before, CinemaCon were going to release either a trailer or some footage and this time they've chosen a trailer. We do have a trailer breakdown here and I'm going to go through the trailer breakdown. There's honestly not much if you, in terms of spoilers, so if you're not a fan of spoilers, then... I don't know if you maybe want to watch this video, I've no idea. However, I promise you, what we see or what we read in this trailer breakdown doesn't spoil anything for me, so I'm hoping it doesn't spoil anything for you either. Before we even got the trailer, Jamie Lee Curtis does what Jamie Lee Curtis does. She amps everything up to 110, and she does the exact same before the trailer for Halloween ends to the audience of CinemaCon. I'll quote her, she says, Trust me, it's going to fuck you up. Now, it probably won't. She said that about the first Halloween from 2018 and Halloween Kills. She's obviously overhyping her movies, which is fine. Everyone does that. But because we know Jamie Lee Curtis, we can take that with a pinch of salt, to be honest. Okay, so this is the trailer breakdown that we've got. Now, this might be slightly different depending on who watched it and who paid more attention to it. But this is the general gist of what the trailer breakdown is. So it starts off with a quote, 44 years ago, the face of fear was born. Then you get the classic Halloween uh, footage uh, from John Carpenter's Halloween. So we're getting a, a lot of older footage here. Uh, a murder montage shows the victims of Michael Myers on Halloween night 1978 and 2018. So again, more footage from before. Uh, next is another quote. Every scream, every scare, every slash has led to this. Now you can tell that that's obviously Laurie Strode because that's something that Laurie Strode would say. Very cheesy. Uh, and then we've got new footage. Laurie breathes heavily as she hides in a dark closet. Now although that's apparently new footage, it sounds very similar to what she done in Halloween 2018. Next we've got Michael Myers stalking in a kitchen with a knife. I don't know if that's new footage or old footage. Uh, Laurie lunges at Michael and slashes at him. It's a brutal fight. And again, if that's new footage, then that's great. However, it does sound a lot like the fight in the kitchen in 2018. Next, Michael grabs Laurie's hair and slams her face first into a glass cabinet. Laurie grips her knife and stabs it into Michael's hand. So that's obviously new footage there. It sounds very interesting. Then the trailer ends with Michael on a table. Laurie stands over her prey with a butcher's knife. So I'm guessing Michael is lying down on a table when uh, Laurie is above him. I had visions of Michael standing on a table where Laurie was underneath it, like in Halloween H2O. After that, we just get Halloween ends at the end of it. Uh, I don't know what the, uh, the audience's reaction was live at CinemaCon, however, from what I'm reading online, the people who were there thought the trailer was fantastic. Now, for those of you who are asking, either myself or anyone online, we probably won't get this trailer. We might get something similar to what they got at CinemaCon, but as usual with a lot of CinemaCon trailers or any convention trailers, the trailers are completely different when they're released online to the public. These are exclusive to CinemaCon or any con convention that they're at. So the chances of us getting that specific trailer is very slim. However, I wouldn't put it past them to give us something similar, just with a little bit of difference in them. Something that I just want to point out as well, and it's a really good point, anytime I do a fan trailer, I always do fan trailers, concept trailers, etc. I have to use old footage because I only have old footage. And when I post it online as a concept or a fan trailer, you will get people saying it's fake because, not because it is fake, but they say it's fake because it has old footage in it. And I'm like, well, no, it's not fake. It's just a fan trailer first and foremost. But at the same time, just because a trailer has old footage doesn't mean it's fake because studios use old footage in trailers all the time and this is a prime example they're using mostly old footage from 2018 halloween kills and halloween 1978 so if they release that to the public are those same people going to say oh that's fake because it's got old footage so never say it's fake just because it's got old footage in it it's got old footage because a they want to use it and b 
it leads up to what's about to happen. So what do you think guys? There's not much to go on because it is just a teaser at the end of the day. Mostly old footage, but some new footage there as well. We might get it released to us eventually, I've no idea. But what do you think so far? What do you think of the description? As always, leave your comments down below and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.